Welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth, the Miami Boat Ranch channel. And is this guy using his girlfriend as a bow winch? It appears that he is. Um, that this is a new one. I've not seen this one. And to be honest, the gentlemanly thing here would have been for you to go down there and be the bow winch and have her pull this boat out. But apparently that's not what we're gonna do. I guess you see a little bit of everything down here at 79th. As I mentioned guys, welcome back. I am your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats. And it's another Wavy Guru production down here at the 79th Street Boat Ramp. And it definitely feels good to be back. We've taken almost a month hiatus. It's been a little slow down here at the boat ramp. We've had some bad weather, but you know what? We're back and ready to go full force. This is probably something everybody should learn before you even try and step on a PWC. If you're ever going to go out on a PWC and you've never been on one, go ahead and jump off the back of this thing and try getting on before you go anywhere. Because obviously, in an emergency situation, if this guy would have fell off, he probably would have been in big trouble, especially if he had been out in open water with wake waves and wind pushing this thing around. I mean, here at the marina, it's pretty calm, and he's struggling pretty heavily to get back on this thing. I mean... At least he finally made it, but man, that would have been, imagine him out in the ocean. This guy would probably, he would have wound up as shark bait, more than likely. I'm kind of curious to see how he docks this thing after struggling that much just to get back onto it, but you know, maybe he'll be okay with that part. Maybe he just doesn't know how to climb back onto the back of a PWC. I mean, he's definitely approaching the dock slow enough at least to make a nice safe landing. Tell you what, we've seen our fair share of PWC people in the water today. We've got three people in the water here again that have fallen off this PWC. We've got two at the back, and it appears it appears the girl that was with them has said, forget you guys. Look at her. She's swimming into the ramp. She's not even going to mess with trying to get back on this thing. I guess uh, she's had enough of their shenanigans and decided that uh, she, she has no desire to be back on this ski with these guys. So much so that she's just going to swim into the ramp, that she's not even going to give these guys a chance. I'll tell you what, though, these guys here appear to be struggling to get back on this ski as well. Um, looks like we've got one that might have made it back onto the swim deck here, but and she's almost to the ramp. That's hilarious. She is just done. Can you imagine being out in the water with somebody and just be so much done that when you get knocked off, you just say, forget it, I'm just going to swim back to the ramp. You guys have fun. So I have no earthly idea why this is a common sight down here at 79th Street. All the time I see this, skis, people just drop them off the trailer and nobody ties them up and just lets them float off. My local boat ramps, I never see this. Go ahead and line it up in the comment section below. Do you guys see this at your boat ramps as well or is this just like a 79th Street special that we see going on here? I mean, these guys will literally just leave these things sitting here floating and by the time they get back, half the time they're in the middle of the water, nowhere near the boat ramp and I just, once again, it just kind of dumbfounds me a little bit, but maybe this is a common place and it's just not something I'm used to seeing. Here we go. It looks like we got us a little bit of a 79th Street wobble about to occur. This guy's been struggling to try and get this trailer back down the ramp. I mean, I guess the glass being broken out with a trash bag on it doesn't really help a whole lot. I'm sure that's limiting some visibility a little bit, but I mean, typically in something like this, you're just going to use your mirrors for the most part anyway. Um, it's not like you can really see the trailer out the back of most of these windows. The trailer's so low compared to the truck. If, if he looks okay, he might get it in this time. He's got a pretty good angle. Oh, nope, nope, nope. He went the wrong way. Yeah, uh, so I think we're seeing another pullout. This will be about the fourth pullout for this guy. Oh, maybe he's going to... Nope, yeah, the angle's all wrong, so he's going to he's gonna have to pull this one out again. He struggled. We're in about minute three. If I'm shooting you on the line of this guy trying to get this trailer back down the ramp. He looks like he's finally got it. We're starting to look okay. And I think he's gonna fully commit this time at least though, so we're gonna actually see what happens. And he pulls back up just a little bit, but I think this is just to line it up. And we might have success. Our, our guy looks like he's finally done it. After four minutes and 56 seconds, he has landed this trailer into the water. But something doesn't look right here, to be honest, guys. So we've got a tiny bit of a wind and current here today, but not a whole lot, and this trailer looks to be floating. It is. The trailer's floating, and it's actually pulling away from the current. So even though he lined it up okay, he, it's moving. Okay, now I can see what's about to happen here, too. 
Why in the world did this guy pull out 15 times to do this? There's no way this should have took 4 minutes and 56 seconds for him to get this trailer in the water if all you had to do was get it down there and move it by hand. Why did he keep pulling out when he was going to have to just come down here and line it up by hand anyway? All he had to do could have been all kinds of messed up and he could have just would have pulled it by hand. <sighs> These guys have drifted off the dock and I don't know, just kind of floating sitting there. I'm assuming they're waiting on one of their friends to come back. But this is just a bad spot. I mean, he's kind of in between several boats here. At this point in time, I would just probably reverse my way out and, and wait out in the middle over here of the water instead of kind of just tossed in between these boats. Ah, we got a little drift going on now. Gonna get the little push off. I mean, it doesn't even appear this guy has his motors on, so he really is just kind of at the mercy of whatever the current and the wind's kind of doing, which is not going to put him in a good spot here, especially as we see this other boat's now drifting off the dock into him as well. So he's put himself into a pretty tight spot here. Probably need to start those engines, buddy, and just go ahead and reverse on out of this one. Here we go, we've got an approach. These guys have had kind of a cautionary approach. My man up to the bow of this boat, though, doesn't really appear to have a good grasp of what's going on. Even Wifey's kind of staring here at the back, like, not sure what's gonna happen. Oh no, no, Captain, don't. No! So the, the captain of the vessels dis disembarked the, at the boat ramp. This is not a good idea, because now obviously we're drifting off and our guy can't even throw the line back to the captain. Oh man, this is a terrible, because nobody can do anything with this boat, probably, without the captain on there. And finally, we got two lines to him, but uh, that one could have ended up pretty bad, pretty fast, actually. As a captain, one of the last things you want to do is uh, leave the vessel, as they say, go down with the ship, my man, but gosh. And he almost fell in the water, too, to even top that one off. That would have been probably like icing on the cake if that would have happened, but gosh. Imagine if this guy couldn't have got him the lines, this boat would have been drifting down to the other dock. Man, I can't believe how fast that captain got off of there, though. And the jet skis are all coming back in for the day, and it looks like we've got us, I can tell already, we got us another 79th Street Wobble coming right here with this black uh, Silverado. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one to watch him get down the ramp. And the guys over here in the minivan had a little struggles trying to get down, too, but uh, we'll see how this one pulls off. Yep, he's coming in at some pretty extreme angles, and yeah, you're off already, buddy. You can go ahead and put that one back into drive and straighten it back out. Let's see how attempt three goes. All right, we got our guy over here. They struggle with the minivan getting this back down, and he looks like he's even struggling lining the ski up to get it back on the trailer, though. And he's gonna get it on there. Let's see if he gets it on there straight. No, but you know what? Straight's just for perfectionists. Who needs that? What does what does it leave this on here like that? Here comes our 79th Street Wobble guy, and he is still wobbling it on up with the best of them. Ooh, wrong way, bro. Yeah, you're going to have to probably pull that one back out again, too. And it's always a tough one watching some of these guys. The crazy part sometimes when you really start thinking about everything that's going on, so we've already been watching this guy for probably, if I look down at the timer, over a minute. And he's messed up again. I bet it takes every bit of two minutes to three minutes for this guy just to back that trailer down from the last section on this ramp. But it's always fun down here at 79th watching all these guys get through. And it looks like maybe he's got the right angle this time. And he might be able to pull this one off. He's taking the slow roll approach. And I think he's going to get it in there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Rants. If you did, be sure to check out our other channels. We have Wavy Boats, who gets us a ton of great footage down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, will do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And also Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.